Three. Now, I am a 500 pound bitch. I've been a 500 pound bitch for years. More than five years, probably 10 years. And today, I'm going to show you guys what a bench session for me looks like. Also, I'm gonna be attempting 500 for two, something I've never done before, all right? I did 525 pounds a week ago. That video is the last video. And now we're gonna to try to do 500 for multiple reps today. So let's go ahead and go through the warm up, which is crucial. Something that you're probably not doing right now for your chest for a bigger bench is this warm up that will help you tremendously. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get it. All right, so what we need is a band and five, two. We need a band and two, five plates. What we're gonna start off with is the band. The band's easy, right? The band's easy. Pull aparts, which you see all the time. Just one thing when you do pull aparts, make sure you keep your chest right here and not right here. Because when we do right here, we're creating space. We don't wanna create space. If this is your range of motion, you need to stick with that range of motion when your chest is right here, not right here. Cause you're cheating it, you're cheating it. So right here, boom, we're gonna do 10 pull aparts, 10 and then chest. Uh, band the chest, 10, right? We're gonna do two sets of that, back to back. Boom, boom, boom. Then we're gonna come down here. Oof. We got eight reps right here, raising off the ground, 90 degree angles, pressing out in the Y, coming back down. One, boom, two, boom, three. Then we're gonna come out here, out wide, eight reps again. Three, boom, coming down here. Palms up, facing the sky. Boom, two, eight reps. Three, four. We're gonna do all those two times, right? So the bands twice, and then these with the weights twice. So let's go ahead and get warmed up. One thing about when you're doing these, actually, that I didn't mention, is you're still pulling the band apart. You're not just like having it flimsy and just pulling it in. You're still pulling the band apart and bringing it to your chest. You see how my, my elbows are turning in like you would in a bench? Just like that, keeping that tension, um, keeping that tension on the band. Last up, we're gonna come back to this exercise. We're gonna do two sets of around eight to 12 reps for pull-ups. Neutral grip, probably a medium grip. And I like to do this personally. Well, first off, it's good to do anyways, but I like to do this because I just feel so pumped. Because when you think about the pull-up, when you're hanging, what's being stretched? What, what do you still feel when you're hanging doing pull-ups? Your chest, your chest is being stretched, right? So when we're going through this movement, I'm trying to, all those secondary muscles, I'm just trying to make sure I engage and get pumped up because they help enhance your bench press. So two simple sets, eight to 12 reps of pull-ups. Now, the reason why you see me, you know, I know I just put up a bench video, but I wanna put up another one for you guys to kind of give you a breakdown of everything because I'm known as a bench master, right? I'm known for benching all across the globe. You feel me? So, just like my boy Chris, he's the deadlift guy, you feel me? Professional weed guy, he's known for deadlifts. You know, I'm known for bench, so I feel like a lot of my content, huh? Say bench. Bench. <laughs> I'm known for bitch, you know, I'm known for bench. 
So I feel like I should kind of take advantage of the specialization because that is, the bench is something I love to do. Um, I, I study it a lot and I've gotten myself to this point over the years. You know, I've never been coached before. Everything has been done on my own, on my own research on facts. So that's why I feel like it's important for me to push out more and more, you know, chest or, or bench strength workouts. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we get to the rest of the video, you guys, rule one, 25% off this amazing brand. If you guys did not know, I just signed with this brand. So would love you guys support. We got a new formula. We got new packaging right here. Our pump, our pre-lift. First off, it has the S7 and the nitrogen that I love so much in these products. So definitely grab you some. And of course we have some flavor, creatine, creatine monohydrate, simple, five grams a scoop. You usually take about 10 grams a day. So grab you some of that. We have uh, the fruity cereal, salted caramel is my favorite and our all natural vanilla protein. Once again, R1, back to the video. All right, first lesson, as you get stronger, your warm ups should be stronger. Now, we'll probably go 135, jump up to 275, you know, maybe from 275 to 365, something like that. It has to progress. So let's get through our warm up. You don't need to do too many reps. If you're going for a higher set, I say don't go past 10 reps, right? So 10, keep everything under 10. Let's talk about grip. I like my grip. I always do thumbs. See what that is? This is right here, that solid and that knurly. I always put my thumb right there. That's my grip right there. So almost to the ring. I could go out a little bit more. Go out a little bit more, but that's how far I am. So this is what I like right here. This is what I'm comfortable with. When I go a lot of reps or my uh, max rep, this is what I'm doing. Sometimes I'll go out here, sometimes. Now, if you personally, if you don't have a wide grip, you shouldn't be worried about trying to arch your back hella far, right? Because I feel like having a, trying to arch hella far and then having a, having your hands that close kind of defeats the purpose of having the arch in the first place. The arch is to shorten range of motion, which I ain't no bitch. So I ain't trying to do all that shit anyways. I'm a power athlete. If you want to look fucking strong as shit, then you get your ass under here and do it without all that arching bullshit, you feel me? You have a little arch just to place your chest in a neutral position, right? You don't want to be flat, but you just you bring it up just like this, but you ain't got to do all that other bullshit, you hear me? Yeah. We don't bench like no bitches. Ass, back, that's it. Little, little chest up, that's it, man. <sighs> Bring it out and yeah, you can let go. All right, 500. On me lifting, give me a nice little lift off. Ah. ah. Hold on. 
one. for two man we're getting up there once again it'll clean up but didn't help me didn't touch it still got that first rep still got that second rep second rep but did come up a little bit once again i'll clean it up but now we're going to go back down we're going to do two to three sets depending on how this feels of uh, 365 for about uh like six to eight reps for two to three sets but we're not gonna touch our chest. We're gonna stop right above the chest. It's called the photo press. It's something that I've been doing a lot. Put the place up. Sugar, man. All I had was Chipotle and McDonald's. Comment down below. What's the best Gatorade? Yellow is the best Gatorade. Yellow. Huh? White, white. The cherry one's very flavorful. I will say that. But I think that original yellow is like the most concentrated flavor. You know, that tastes like. But I think Gatorade, I'm like, oh, when I hear the word Gatorade, I'm like, oh, this tastes like what Gatorade, you know? Did the bench, we did the bench. Bench is done. We might, we might do some flies, some more like a little bit of accessory just to build the chest as far as looks. But right now we're going to focus on our triceps and our delts, our rear delts and our back, because those are the muscles that we've already we've already hit the movement. You cannot get better. I mean, the best thing to do for a movement to get better at it is do the fucking movement, right? We did the movement. Now we're taking care of everything around that movement. So we got Viking presses. We're going to work on sets of eight to twelve reps. We're going to go heavy. So four sets, eight to twelve reps. Pull up to my twist screen. Let's play hell divers. You got hell divers? No. Hell divers, yo. But we're always trying to strength, strengthen all these press movements from here to here, sometimes here, you feel me? Even though I know decline sometimes give people like shoulder issues because of the angle, but when we're working push, we're working push. And this is something that I've done consistently with pressing. I, I switched from doing a regular uh, military press to this because it's easier on the shoulders. So it's something, it's, you know, Viking press isn't everywhere. If you can't do Viking press, just do some dumbbell presses um, because they at least give you a little bit more freedom versus the barbell. But I like being able to angle myself a bit and press up. Once again, eight, uh, eight, eight to 12 reps. Oh. Ooh. Ah, my strength, so let, let's think about it. My strength honestly came from lowering what I do for chest. If the focus is strength, let the focus be strength. Like, I'm coming here, I probably do two to three exercises for chest, and I'm done. I'm done with chest. Now, once again, I'm working, I'm working the back, I'm working the shoulders, the triceps, the things that help with your pressing movement. I've done enough. I, I've done my push movement, and I do my flies, and then that's it. Now, it's a different story when you're trying to be a bodybuilder, but you came to this video because you want to be an absolute motherfucking monster on the bench. So, I'm giving you what I do for that. Five 
five sets of five with a hold at the top. Feel rows. Feel rows, ladies and gentlemen. A reverse bench. I pull it out. <laughs> right here. Hold. Two. Three. 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 Two. Three. Five. Simple as that. Five sets. Five reps. One, two, three. Back down each rep. Remember, a big bench starts with your back. Big bench starts with your back. Two Bs start with one other B. You feel me? Just remember, just remember that. Because if you're if it, a big bench, big back. Two little bees make one big bee. Two little bees make one big bee. Two little bees make one big bee. All right, big bee. No, but seriously, I feel like people don't realize that when I'm working on deadlift, all I really need to work on is deadlift and things that, you know, maybe some hamstrings to help with deadlift some hip hinge, but if I'm trying to get better at the deadlift, all I need is deadlift and then everything else is free game. Same thing with bench. You trying to get better at bench, you need to do the damn bench. Bench, that's it. And then free game to the accessory secondary muscles. I don't know how many times I can keep saying this to you guys. I don't know. I'm trying to implement it in your brain. I know you can be like Toronto, shut up, we get it. So I'm just trying to let you guys know that it matters. All right, last pull movement, neutral grip pull-ups, weighted. Six to 10 reps, depending on the weight. We'll start with one plate. I can probably, I usually get about eight to 12 reps, honestly. But if we go up a bit more, we'll probably be around the more six to eight rep range. I can do two plates, but I'll probably only be able to do five reps. Ah. Weighted sets done, took a break. Now we're gonna go for 15 to 20. Uh, normal grip, not neutral. Normal grip pull-ups. We focus on some strength, strength aspect. All of this is growth, but we got some endurance going on too, while still being able to get that arm pump. Arms are, arms are pumped right now. And then we'll move, we'll transition into triceps. As you see, majority of my days that involve bench look like this. We're all, it's a push-pull day. Push focus on the top end as far as strength, and then pull focus, you know, pull and everything else focus for the rest of the uh, workout. Delts, we demolish the back. Now, lastly, it's time to finish off the triceps. The triceps is your last defense. 
against bench, right? When you're going for that lockout, you, you require your triceps to be top notch to be able to lock out heavy amounts of weight. We're gonna do incline, close grip, bench press. Smith machine right here, so we can focus on a bit more of that, that growth. We're gonna go for eight to 12 reps for incline, Smith machine. I need to be worried about my next set. That's how shit should be. Like, damn, can I get that? Can I get that eight to the next rep or do I need to go down? I probably need to go down. <laughs> More. <coughs> I went down for this one. <sighs> Two. Three. like to do incline close grip more than flat because of your positioning. It's a lot easier on your shoulders doing incline close grip because you're coming down right here or if it's flat and you're coming down like this, right? So I can have my elbows down a bit more. It's a lot more comfortable and I feel it more on my triceps anyways. All right, tricep rope, pull down extensions, around 10 to 15 reps, nice squeeze, in the workout with a nice pump, with a nice additional volume to the triceps. Spectacular TVB is a part of R1. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the brand for the Aftermath Clan. You already know what it is, R1 Natural Protein. Rule one, if you guys did not know. They extended the discount till March 3rd, because the Arnold's going on. March 3rd, you get 25% off. Yes, that is right. This fruity cereal, it's a fruity cereal. Nah, it's good. 25 grams of protein in everything. 25 grams in this, that. Salty caramel in my last video, you already know, is my favorite. And then we have the natural protein for those who are sensitive to protein. Definitely give this a try. All banned substance free. So, once again, grab you some pre in protein. Grab you double B, double P's to build your double B's, ladies and gentlemen. That is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch you guys later. <laughs>